Hello, welcome to the shop. We got kind of a cool project in the works today. Let me show you. This is a very special bolt for a prosthetics application. Uh, first of all, it's titanium. We've got an M14 by 1.0 thread right here, which is a bit odd. We've got an undercut shank, and we've got a tapered head. The, the bottom of the head is tapered, so this needs to fit into some type of tapered socket. So we got some very specific dimensions here, and the customer wants it to be just a little bit shorter. Now, of course, you could just cut the ends of the threads off right there, but then you'd have less thread engagement, and that's unacceptable in this case. So the length needs to be taken out of the middle, which basically means we need to start from scratch. All right, we've got the soft jaws made, we've got the titanium nugget in the soft jaws, we've got all the tools loaded, all the tool length offsets accounted for, the machine knows where zero is on the soft jaws, the program is loaded, I'm pretty sure I've dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's, let's hit run and hope we don't blow something up. This helical threading move that it's doing is definitely what I was most worried about. It's a tiny, delicate little tool. I've never milled titanium before. I've turned titanium on the lathe, but this is a new thing. But it sounds pretty good. I think it's working. All right, now it's tool changing to the chamfer mill. It's just gonna put a nice little bevel around the top so there's no burr. And the first stop is going to be done. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. I've got this thread gauge that I made. Let's check the thread fit here. Oh, it's tight. So I'm rerunning the helical move. I'm basically cutting the threads again because I want to take a spring pass on them and just run that threading tool through there again and I hope it cleans it up just enough for the thread to fit nice. If I need to, I can adjust the cut in just a little bit on the computer and, and chase those threads again, but it's a little odd because I did, I did get ahead and I made the beginnings of a test piece out of aluminum and the threads on this piece fit perfect. Aluminum's a lot softer, so I think what I'm running into is maybe the titanium is pushing back on the tool a little bit more and the tool is flexing out of the way, which is why I'm hoping that the spring pass cleans these threads up. Maybe just another pass will just work those threads in just that much more, but we'll see. Okay, it fits now, but it's, it's a little chunky. So you can see the fit of the original it just spins right in. There's just a slight amount of wobble. Obviously the threads that we just cut are tighter than that, so I'm gonna go on the computer and make a quick adjustment and, and shave just a little bit more off those threads. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh man, 
man, look at that. That's a good looking bolt. All right, now we gotta move to the lathe and cut this undercut shank. All right, we're chucked in the lathe. You can see how I'm holding it there. I've got one of these. So it's just a piece of aluminum with a blind hole with the right thread. And so this is bottomed out in the hole and then the chuck is grabbing onto the aluminum and I spun it in neutral and knocked it around until it's running true. So we're ready to turn. Forty-one. Target was four thirty-three. Yeah. Eight more to come off. Oh, what a thing of beauty! Man, machining is awesome. <laughs> so here's the original one. For comparison, you can see our new one's just a little bit shorter, which is exactly what they needed. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.